Escape from Tarkov has had a lot of ups and downs in the past updates for the game. A lot of people still play it. A lot of people have sworn off the game and will never touch it again in their life. Today, what we want to focus on is the next patch specifically, the August patch, which will bring a wipe to Escape from Tarkov. This will be a four month wipe and it'll be the quickest wipe that we have ever seen in the history of the game. I want to outline some of the good and the bad things. Will this wipe suck? Hopefully that will be answered by the end of this video. So in this August wipe, we're supposed to get a lot of quality of life and improve Improvements to how the game is played in the back end, but you don't really see a ton of changes in the actual gameplay. We have a couple guns that will be getting a couple remodels of old guns. The only change that I could maybe see is the SVT or the AVT maybe being a good scav gun. And then the other big thing is the second expansion of Streets of Tarkov. And remember, if you enjoy this content and you want to see more, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe for more content like this. Now, with that expansion, we do get the new boss, Kaban, and he is someone who will be really fun to fight as long as you can run Streets. I think one of my fears with this August wipe especially is that a lot of people who haven't been able to run Streets still won't be able to run Streets because I would assume that the optimal optimization of a second expansion won't run well and will probably run a little bit worse on the PCs that already weren't able to run streets. I know that my PC still kind of struggles to run streets. Every patch that they release that optimizes some part helps, but overall, I don't really want to play streets at 60 frames. It feels really bad and I I kind of get a little bit of a motion sickness feel whenever I have to play at lower frame rates. So it's hard for me to want to play on streets, even though it is such a fun map when it actually works. Nice thing is is that the patch 13 did help with desync so that will help people when they come back to the game they should be able to feel the fights are a little bit better as we know though with every single wipe iteration there's always new bugs even though patch 13 did help with desync it did introduce new issues and new bugs like an fps drop if there is no gun reverberation sound for some reason there's some optimization issue that makes your frames drop to like 30 40 frames disregarding the type of pc that you have and then a ram leak which people who don't have 64 gigabytes of ram like me will feel whenever they're trying to run tarkov now to why i think this wipe is going to suck i think that this wipe is going to bring some players back and maybe this is a player's second wipe or third wipe and they might be feeling oh the game is getting a little bit better we're making some improvements but i don't think that this is going to bring a majority of people a new experience from other wipes. I think what's going to happen is there's going to be that huge hype behind Tarkov wipe. Everyone's playing, everyone's enjoying early wipe. And I think that this is going to be our biggest plummet yet, disregarding how cheaters are going to be. I know that some of the coding changes that BSG did make, they say will help with cheaters. However, every wipe, there is a demand for cheaters just because of RMT and all of these issues. So I think there will probably be a spike regardless of what they do. I mean, this is PC gaming at its finest there will be cheaters i know that another huge issue is that a lot of people who haven't played this game are going to hop back on and they're going to get one tap from some weird angle that they don't know that maybe the player who's playing has like five thousand hours in the game and they know this angle the person who got one tapped is going to assume that they got cheated and they aren't going to enjoy the experience at the same rate that maybe they would have if they just understood the game a little more so there will be a ton of accusations accusations and i think that's going to also be another downside for tarkov it seems to be a recurring theme with every single wipe aka stay off twitter now what i think that the short wipe will bring is an ability for players who haven't played the game and maybe this is their second wipe and they're trying to get efficient with their tasks this will help them to learn the game and not worry about end game i know that this wipe was a little bit longer this current one we're in and we were able to experience a lot more of the end wipe tasks lore and all of the other things that come with the game i've enjoyed it a lot more than other late wipes in my opinion this wipe might be one of the wipes that you want to go a little bit easier on and just enjoy the process of trying to learn as much as you can from this wipe if you're bad at pvp try to do a little more pvp this wipe it does not really matter necessarily necessarily to try to grind up for end game stuff my opinion is this is a quick wipe everything is getting deleted focus on one thing try to get good at it doing your loot runs getting efficient at tasks trying to get better at pvp learning different angles on maps understanding the rotation wow. of maps learning spawns learning different things that are going to make you 
an overall better player. Focus on your weaknesses and you will grow exponentially for the longer wipes. That means that you will be getting in a lot better of an experience at 1.0 release for Escape from Tarkov, which hopefully we will see one day. But I don't see this wipe being a great wipe. Now, if they can clean up a lot of stuff and make the game function better, I'm really excited for the December wipe. I think that the December wipe is going to bring something that's going to be just exciting and awesome and something that's going to be just different from what we have been used to with wipe. I think having a quality of life, almost an operation health, if you will, for the game so it functions better and then having a nice content patch in December, I think that's going to be the really good wipe. I think this wipe is just going to be kind of a lead in, see how everything goes, see how early wipe feels. And then December is when we're going to start getting closer to how is Tarkov going to feel upon 1.0 release. Let me know down in the comment section below if you think this wipe is going to be good. If you think this wipe is going to be the worst wipe we're going to see in Tarkov. Let me know your thoughts and comments down below. If you like this, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe for more content like this in the future. And I will see you later. There's two. There's no way I just killed him.